<clears throat> hey everybody, thank you so much for listening to Real Pineapple. Yay! <laughs> Good job, everybody. <laughs> Yay! This is. <laughs> this, this is let me old. out of here, please. Ah, like, take it, captive. Help us. It's, it's like, <laughs> I'm just whoa, scared. Whoa, that, <laughs> <laughs> whoa, I got dark. <laughs> this is the natural sound of my voice. I'm very scared right now. <laughs> but. Guys, thank you so much for listening. This is Hunter here. I'm here with Colin. Colin, how you doing, sir? I'm doing good. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great, sir. And I'm here with Scott. Scott, how you doing, my friend? Good, good. Thanks. All right, and we're here to talk this, uh, talking about some of these Comic-Con trailers that came out. Um, we got to talk about this one. We got to talk about uh, Kong Skull Island, which I got to admit, I'm pretty excited for. I, I, I'm... I'm uh, again, to steal Scott's phrase, I'm cautiously optimistic just because I remember Godzilla having a really good trailer too, and so, so I kind of so that's in the back of my head a little bit. But uh, the cast they have, they got Loki himself, they have Brie Larson. Congratulations on getting Miss Marvel, by the way. Um, in here, they got Samuel L. Jackson, Nick Fury himself. I, I'm just pretty much anyone from Marvel in this movie, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Um, and then they have, um... John have, Goodman. Yeah. I, you know, it's funny, whenever you, I hear John Goodman's name, I remember we were talking about that show Alpha House he has on, a or a presidential house, whatever the hell it's called, on a Amazon, and you're like, John Goodman is super cool to be, like, a co-star, but I wouldn't watch anything that he starred in. <laughs> and it just kind of made me go, aw, John Goodman, but... That's still my opinion. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. And and we have Dr. Dre's in this movie. Corey Hawkins from Straight Outta Compton is in this movie. Yay! So, so which means he'll probably die because he's black. I, did anyone want to bet that him or Samuel L. Jackson's gone in this? Well, def- want- definitely Samuel L. Jackson. I mean, motherfucker got ate by a shark, so... Yeah, <laughs> Watch the twist will be that Kong will grab a shark out of the water and throw it at the same time. <laughs> Throw, throw, throw it, throw it at him like a spear. <laughs> and, you know, that would be a great twist. I'll give this a fan fucking tastic. If that yeah, happens. if that have, I mean, I have to say, like you're saying that, like it'd be a bad thing. But if that happened, I would be like, whoa, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, you know, th- this looks like a very, you know, very standard plot. You know, people go, um, <laughs> white people go on this, <laughs> go on the next expedition. Somewhere they shouldn't go. It looks like John Goodman uh, tricks them to going, which 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 does seem. Like There's a, always a filmmaker involved, right? Yeah. There's always someone trying yeah. to capture the the wild and unseen. Yeah, this basically looks like Tropic Thunder with King Kong. <laughs> yeah, I totally got the Tropic Thunder vibe from this this trailer. Yeah, that that's pretty much what I was thinking the whole time. And uh, does anyone want to guess the budget on this? Hundred and fifty. Higher. Whoa. Two hundred. Two hundred and seventeen. Colin, you were just over a hundred and ninety million dollar budget. Uh, so they are really banking on people going ape <laughs> for this movie. So uh, uh, <laughs> well, like you one. know Tom Hiddleston, Hiddleston's getting all this buzz because he's like Taylor Swift's new boyfriend. Oh. Yeah, it, 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 and soon, and soon to be an ex-boyfriend, <laughs> but... No. Uh, you one. don't know that. I, I don't do. know who they are. They probably were going to get married and live happily ever after. Yeah, just like her and Calvin Harris were going to. Hey, <laughs> that was not a true love. Right? <laughs> yeah, that was messy. That, that was... was not, did you say that? that is not a true love? <laughs> that that was saying? not true love. That was untrue love. Yeah, he didn't give her true love's kiss. Oh, oh <laughs> God! Help us! Ugh. Don't give her true love's first kiss, then you will not be tied together for all of eternity. I just yeah. hope at one point in time there's some Taylor Swift fan listening to this, being like, "Yeah, I love Colin and Scott." <laughs> hey, we go for a wide demographic here at the Real Pineapple. Yeah, yeah, we're real and we're pineapples. And we're sometimes sour, but most of the time really sweet. And, and, and juicy, but, but, but 
so I gotta admit the thing I liked about this is it kind of reminded me of Cloverfield, like the first trailer I saw for Cloverfield, where you, you just see little glimpses of the monster, mm-hmm. and it's just enough to make you go like, oh, that looks awesome. And the last shot of the trailer is just enough to make you go, oh yeah, that looks that looks badass. So that's, that's kind of what I said about Magic Mike X- XXL. <laughs> it's like you didn't quite get a shot of a monster, you know, until you have, until you see it, you know, you can just kind of sneak peek. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. so can I ask like, what is the obsession with like like movie production studios like trying to remake these old like '50s '60s classics into big budget blockbusters now? Like like we just saw how terrible Tarzan did. Right? Yeah. Like, yep. like, what are they doing? Like, why do they keep remaking this? Like, make original shit. Like, why do people keep having to remake shit? Like, this is, like, essentially just trying to be King Kong, right? Is yep. it not? Yep. Yeah. Like, it's Kong Skull Island. Like, they try and give it, like, a cool, like, Kong colon Skull Island. <laughs> like, it's cool, man. Like, we got a sick... Like, if your fucking title has a colon in it, then you fucking suck. <laughs> like, yeah, like your movie sucks. With a colon in it, that's for Especially sure. if it's a remake of a remake of, like, probably a remake. Like, what are we doing here? This you're, is ridiculous. You're just feeding off of viewership. It's like, oh, uh, people already watched this. They're yeah. gonna have to come to the theater now because they remember when this this first came out, so we're just yeah. gonna bleed them dry. That's yeah, and I and I like this. I like this cast, like Brie Larson, like Tom Hiddleston, and then like Samuel Jackson. Like put him in anything, he's gonna be cool. He's a cool dude. Like John Goodman just like did a great job in Ten Cloverfield Lane. Yes, he like, did. Like you, you have good people in here. You have John C. Riley, who's like the ultimate like fifth like <laughs> you know cast member in any movie. <laughs> and it's like, I, you, like, wh- like, what are you doing here, though? Like, why do you need to remake King Kong? Like, it might be good, it might be good, but like, why don't you just come up with original shit? Like, that's my biggest problem with Hollywood right now. Just come up with original shit. So, I I totally agree with you. We we've talked about this that this is an epic. This is really an epidemic. This is hell. This is a virus that's been spread out throughout. Hollywood as far as needing to remake everything. Um, the only other movie... So he's done two movies, technically, and uh, the director, Jordan uh, Vo, P, uh, Vo Roberts, pardon me, um, he directed Nick Offerman's American Ham stand-up special, which I love, and then he directed Nick Offerman again in The Kings of Summer. And he's actually directed a few episodes of You're the Worst, which is a really good fucking show if you're not watching it. So... I have, I have some faith, but going from something indie like The Kings of Summer to a almost two hundred million dollar budget film is quite the leap. So I'm, I'm a little worried about this. I love Tom Hiddleston. I love Brie Larson. Like Colin, like you said, right on the right on the money. The cast is awesome. The cast looks great, but to say that. There isn't a little cause to pause when it comes to this movie would be very inaccurate because I think this could absolutely be atrocious too. Um, Scott, uh, how are you feeling about this? Sir? Yeah, I mean, it looks like a big money budget film. Like just the way the trailer is presented, you can tell they spent a lot of money on it, so it looks nice. It like it looks like very well done. But I'm with Colin. I'm just I'm. This is like one too many of the King Kong. They need to stop with the King Kong. Like this is it, this is too far with this series and along with many others that they keep trying to revive and it they're just you know, obviously number one is money in the industry, so if you can make money off of it and you'll get somebody to come back and see it because they say King Kong, oh hey, I remember that movie. I'm gonna go see it. I'm gonna put my money uh you know into into this movie essentially and into the hands of the producers to give them incentive to do it again. Um yeah, just I, I'm with you, Colin. I, this is it's it's getting really frustrating to a point of like 
we know they're basically saying we know we can do it and there's nothing you can do to stop it because <laughs> yeah. people are going to see it because they're yeah. getting money and until people don't see them they're they're not going to stop making them so uh, on one hand like some of the movies are a lot better because like the effects that we have and the quality of movies i would say like the the if you put enough money into a movie i feel like it can look a certain way but it it's it's just I, at what what point do you add creativity and ingenuity and like Ex Machina was like one of my favorite movies because it was so unique and yeah. like yeah. so creative and that's what I love about movies is people really come up coming up with new ideas even if it is a you know part of a trilogy or yeah. whatever it, coming up with your new ideas that's that's why I go to the movies and you know you know what you know what's even more like frustrating about me watching this trailer is the motherfuckers are so cocky they're like hey you know who is bringing you this movie the guys that brought you the last godzilla <laughs> and you know who yes and you know what the last godzilla was like it was like hey it's this awesome remake with way better special effects except yeah. we're gonna give you a great cast you know what's going to be the shitty part about that great cast is that Brian Cranston's going to die like super early and <laughs> yeah. we're going to like and we're going to like make that great cast be not that great and we're going to have Godzilla not even show up that much. We're going to have like some other giant spider monsters be like the number one thing about that movie. <laughs> but, so, but 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 this is my thing though. When I say like like this type of movie, like this type of movie is like a is is this genre, right? Like it's the big like monster movie genre and i am like this huge supporter of pacific rim because it was original yeah. it's not a great movie i get that like it wasn't like that like cool but you know what like guillermo del toro like that guy went out there and he's like i'm gonna make something original i'm not gonna like buy up some franchise and redo it i'm gonna make an original movie and i'm gonna do the big monster movie originally and this one is you know it's king kong like we we know what king kong's getting at so we're gonna be like oh cool they're gonna hit the same spots that we've seen and it's gonna be a new cast and it's gonna be cool because it's the new cast, like Brie Larson's an amazing actress. Tom Hiddleston's a great actor. Samuel Jackson always delivers a great, you know, performance, and that's awesome. But like, it's not going to be original. It's going to be King Kong, and like that doesn't excite me. And like, maybe they'll do such a great job that like when I actually see it, I'll change my mind. But like on the trailer, like it's not. It looks cool, but, like, it just makes me feel like it's going to be the same old, same old. Yeah, I I agree with you. I, I'm just waiting for them to say, you know, hey, we're, we're remaking Gremlins, which, God help me, I'm going to be so sad when that, that happens. And, hey, you know, they're already remaking Rocky Horror Picture Show. I mean, I mean, Hollywood is just in this state of flux where they don't know what to make, so they're like, fuck it, and let's just take things that are you know, treasure to people. Three years, there'll be a Goonies remake. I, I, I would, yeah. I would I, like, I'm telling you right now, there will be. And some of you guys are like, oh, they've been talking about a Goonies sequel. Watch, they will ditch that just like they ditched the Ghostbusters sequel. And they'll be like, oh, fuck it, let's just reboot it. Like, let's go on, who's on Disney Channel? Let's, <laughs> let's just go ahead and just insert a bunch of these random snot-nosed little fuckers <laughs> into, into, those, <laughs> like, into those iconic roles. Like, I really wouldn't be surprised. So, I I hope this is good because I love Tom Hiddleston. I, I, I really am such a huge fan of his, and I love Brie Larson. Brie Larson has been great in everything I've seen her in. So I'm really, really, really hoping that this is going to be good. But and You touched on something already that I, I totally agree with you. The director is not proven. So I don't think he hasn't had a directorial role in a movie this big before um yeah it doesn't look like any of these movies even have has come close to the the volume and the size and the money that this movie has so you never know how you know it's it's going to shape their their you know direction um but 
you know, it remains, it remains to be seen. So it's not like this, you know, big shot director coming in here and taking all this money and uh, really fine tuning it into something that people are going to reminisce about. But I, so, so many question marks with this movie. So many. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, this comes out, um, <laughs> they were very smart. They put this out in March to avoid all the, <laughs> yeah, well, that's well, a good time for this. <laughs> well, well, cause, cause guardians comes out in May. I think wonder woman's June. So they, they, they know what they have. I'm it, sure. It, it like, certainly couldn't come out in the summer because there's going to be too much <laughs> that's competitive. Yeah. Cause I'm telling you right now, there won't, if this came out the same week, guardians, Guardians Volume Two came out. There's no goddamn way anyone go see this movie. <laughs> so, very smart call to put this out in March, right before all this stuff starts dropping. Even though, let's be honest, the summer movie season just keeps getting back, moved back. I mean, it fucking starts in April now, basically. <laughs> so, uh, good call for them to put this out in March. Hopefully, this is good. Uh, this comes out March 17th, I believe, March 10th of next year. So. It'll be interesting. I mean, oh God, one hundred ninety million dollars. That's God, a lot right? of money. That is a lot of money. I think that's more than the first Avengers budget even was. It's like gonna, that. It's gonna be all special effects. Oh yeah. 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 I mean that that's insane. Oh, okay. Okay. The first Avengers budget was two hundred twenty million. So only thirty million more than Kong Skull Island. So. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, but but that that has like that has like an awesome like storyline built into it because they're just doing what the comics already have written for them. Right? A no, I... Bit? Yeah, no, I agree. That's why I, it's such a gamble <laughs> that they spent $190 million. Yeah, this is, a, this is a big gamble. Like you were saying, on a semicolon movie. On, <laughs> uh, like, that That says so much about a movie that, like... Just, just seeing that going, oh, oh, this is probably just, like, some dumb sequel to King Kong or whatever. Just seeing that title, people are going to be like, yeah, whatever, this looks kind of dumb. And that's what I hope happens, and nobody goes and sees it. So <laughs> these gonna... people who made this is just going to tank, and they never make a movie again, and we all live happily ever after. I feel so. I feel bad for Brie Larson, who just won an Oscar. So yeah, I well, hey, like I said, look, we've talked about she is she she's going to be making that Marvel money in a couple of years. So um, yeah, she, she, she'll, she'll 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 get her. Yeah, she's yeah. making plenty of money. Yeah, she's about her. she's fine. <laughs> yeah, she got her Oscar. This will be that movie that people kind of just you know yeah. brush aside, like, oh yeah, you did make that, didn't you? So yeah. Tom Hiddleston already got his Marvel money. <laughs> yeah, Tom Hiddleston got his Marvel money. Um, he's still rumored to be in the running for Bond. Um, if you haven't seen The Night Manager, by the way, holy shit, go see that movie or, or see see that uh, see that show. So I mean, Tom Wilson's doing well for himself, but yeah, this this may end up being a uh, a misfire. <laughs> so uh, so guys, let us know what you think of this trailer. I'm very curious of what, what people would think of this trailer. But you can uh, follow us here on SoundCloud, the Real Pineapple Seven Seven Five, so you can be the first to hear about what new stuff we have coming up for you. You can also like us on Facebook at the Real Pineapple. Uh, you can follow yours truly on the Twitter at J Hunter Real Pineapple. Follow Mr. Colin on Twitter at. The real O'Neill. And follow Mr. Scott Nearman on Twitter at Newman the First. Guys, thank you so much. We will have reviews up this weekend for the uh, for the boss. God help us. The boss. Uh, just uh, he's the boss. Uh, nine <laughs> nine lives because Colin is making us and uh, wow. and, and, <laughs> and Suicide Squad, which will be very interesting. Guys, thank you so much for listening. We'll talk to you soon.